Once again, once again, welcome to another shitty, <laughs> low light shitty, shitty low light video from my garage. And where are we at? We're right in y'all. And what we're going to talk about tonight is the most excellent ARB. 50 quart fridge and uh, with my little cheat sheet here I'm gonna talk about this because this this here unit I bought in 2017 and it is item ARB 10800472 now this is a discontinued item but the new item is the classic series 2 which is the 108147Q. And cheater, Dubai. You know what I'm going to do right now? Oh, yeah. Look at this thing. You got a lot of room in this thing for your beer. For everything else, yeah, I'm gonna have one of these. Now, grand scheme of things, when I bought this, mmm, mmm, oh yeah, super good. So when I bought this, I was quite annoyed at the price um, for everything. Because I paid about 880 doll hairs for this here unit. Uh, the slide was like 350 doll hairs. Uh, tie down maybe 20 bucks or something. And then the wiring kit about 40 bucks or thereabouts. Oh, and then the, this cover thing for it, this condom was about I think a hundred and twenty dollars um, in hindsight yeah way worth it I think the new one the classic series 2 which is identical to this 50 quart is over a thousand dollars so you know a couple hundred bucks more I bought this in 2017 so what's that? Uh, five years on, I've been running this thing. And I tell you, at times I run this thing for three weeks. I'll put it on a week before I go to a trip. And when I get back, I just let it run. I put on my um, most excellent... Battery Tender Plus. And with that thing going on, the Odyssey battery, and y'all, she's good to go, just running, sitting in my garage. And it's all good. And I don't like to say this term because I think it's cringy. But they say, Game changer. Well, folks, this is. If you're going from a cooler full of ice to this thing. And I was all against it because, you know, the weight. The thing's heavy. It's big. But if you compare this to like a Yeti that's the same size... The Yeti's got gigantic sidewalls, and you got to put ice in there, so you lose capacity for fitting all your beer and other stuff inside that, like what you might want to put in here. So there's no comparison to an ice chest, ice cooler, to an actual proper refrigerator uh, unit, such as this device right here um weight this unit right here is lighter 
than like a Yeti or a, or the other brands. I don't know, there's other brands. But of those five day coolers or whatever, this is lighter than a cooler full of ice. And you have way more capacity to fit stuff. Like when I go on a trip for multiple days, I don't bring warm drinks. They're all in here. I mean, I go, granted I go alone, but all my stuff is in here. I mean, this thing, it'll be packed to the gills up to the top, filled up with food and beer and, you know, whatever else I might carry in there. But grand scheme of things is that overall, this package is lighter than a cooler full of ice. And then in, and I'm driving this pile of shit over boulders, over rocks, flopping around. How many times back in the day I had it just the amount of sloshing around and it that just degrades your ice and it melts it and then all your food gets soggy and you know, fuck that shit, dude. I'm too old for that stuff. Uh, I don't need that anymore. Um, you know, do yourself a favor. Buy an actual refrigerator if you're into this sort of thing of going out and wheeling and uh, yada yada. You know what I'm saying? So, five years on. Would buy again. Excellent product. This thing's been solid, uh, bulletproof. It's rattled around this Jeep for, you know, five years. Many places. Death Valley, Utah, uh, Rubicon, uh, Swamp, Deer Valley. What else? Many other places. I don't know. Um, went to Nevada multiple times. Uh, it just It's been all over the place. Been a great unit. The slide out was like $350 at the time. I was just like hating it, but we were planning on a big trip out to Utah and I just didn't want to have to make one. Hindsight, only mod I did was I welded on this little tab so I could bolt it to uh, the factory bolt hole on the TJ. And then at the front I did nut certs um, this slide is fantastic, uh, 350 bucks, I couldn't make this thing in a day, and it would have cost me a lot of money, it's got, which is kind of funny, I don't think you can see it, but there's a hole up here that lines up with the drain hole, so if you're going to carry ice, you know, for cocktails or something, and it starts melting, and you fill up with water, you can pull the drain plug, on the bottom of this thing. Let's see, there's a little drain plug down there. And that lines up with a hole in the slide out, which is fucking cool. Um, you got this basket. You can turn the basket around with this high side over here to keep stuff from over there falling in here. Hmm. I mean, I, I don't need that, whatever. Got a divider. I generally just leave that in there. Um, yeah, it's just, this is a fantastic unit. Top comes off by just yanking it off like that. And slam her back on, bam. And you got this. Buna in condom gasket because this thing is like our actual refrigerator when you shut it it has like a vacuum and it sucks her tight so you hit the fucking thing she sucks in tight um, I would recommend getting a cover like this because if you reach in here when the thing's cold you don't feel nothing out here, but it's cold inside here, so it does make a difference. Probably saves a little power from your battery. Um, 
I don't know what else to say other than if you're on the fence of an actual I'm not talking about these like coolers like these Chinese and made cooler well I can say Chinese and made I don't know where this was made honestly I don't know <laughs> this might have been made in China I don't know but the cheapo coolers that aren't like actual refrigerators mm, three four hundred bucks you know they might be okay for a couple years but I've had this thing for like I said before five years she's ran a bunch and um, I'm giving this thing five stars full thumbs up buy with confidence a badass unit a game changer cringy yes I know but it it is cuz fuck a fucking cooler full of ice now don't get me wrong I like ice cuz I like to have ice in my cocktails and that's one of the down you know one of the bummers about this you throw ice in here but it, it melts like ice always does but overall the gain uh, you can't beat it and if you're gonna go for multiple days out wherever the hell you're going um, if you're if you're kind of gay and you like to go overlanding yeah this is a good fucking thing it's a good unit but going out rock crawling driving over the Rubicon it can get hot you know your ice is gonna melt from sloshing around and it's hot as hell your ice don't melt in this it never gets warm generally <laughs> see it dropped it's dropping generally I keep this right around here 27 29 degrees Fahrenheit uh, nothing freezes in there keeps it nice and cold it can be 90 degrees out so the only the only drawback on this thing is yes it does sap your battery power from your vehicle but the positive is is it'll warn you and when this little red light right now comes on it'll be flashing red and it says check that's when the unit shuts off because it detects that you've dropped to a certain voltage in your vehicle battery it will not suck your vehicle battery dry it will stop before that happens and you can always start it and every time that lights come on I've always been able to start my vehicle it runs fine I'll run it uh, for you know 45 half hour 45 minutes or whatever to charge the battery back up and then it's fine generally it's about if you let this thing sit a day when it's hot as hell and and grand scheme of things this thing's all black so she gets hot inside but about a day for this vehicle that next day uh, it'll give you the check light on here so generally if I remember you know every day I'll run the Jeep you know half an hour or so to uh, recharge up the battery to keep it from getting flat but like I said this thing will not draw your battery flat you'll get the check light it'll warn you and say hey check your shit so you fire up the engine run it then she'll go back into the normal mode when see it's on right now so you got the green light when it's not on you'll get a, a yellow LED when it's just in like uh, idle mode or whatever it's on now because I turned it on just earlier just for this video just for the hell of it anyway oh yeah 805 sponsor me send me beer thank you in conclusion buy with confidence uh, these units are great um, I'm a big fan I was kicking and screaming when I spent the money on this thing you know eight 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, it was like 13 or $1,400 for the whole setup. But, grand scheme of things, well worth it. So, ARB, 50 quart, thumbs up. Even though this is a discontinued item, but like I said, there's the Classic 2 is the same thing. Basically, just a different color. Uh, they, they do make, which is badass, a new khaki uh, or uh, coyote tan colored cover, which is fucking badass. I'd love to have that. Uh, but anyway, buy with confidence. Good shit. Airby. Uh, and that's about it. Pick up your garbage when you're out there and uh, put out your fires. Thanks, guys. Later.